What is going on, niche gaming enthusiasts? Michael Jordan here from nichegamer.com, and I've been trying to get this to work a little bit because it takes a lot of power to kind of do the recording and play on the same system at the same time, but I'm working with what I got. Obviously, you already can see what this game is. This is Master X Master. We actually had behind closed doors with this game. Uh, it was one of our first appointments at E3, so it obviously launched the other day we were super excited we got a founders pack or and a couple other things so that we could get jumping right into the game uh i think it was like uh yesterday or something like that and i gotta say that when i was at e3 this is one of the games that i could not stop talking about this is just it, they've they've done a lot of things just so right and it's pretty amazing so the idea of the game is that you have uh, a multitude of characters from the NCSoft world, which are really great. My favorite from Blade and Soul, uh, and they have some original characters as well. And the idea is, it's kind of like it has a MOBA, it has an arena like a uh, uh, like almost like a Diablo style arena fighting game, and it also has PVE elements to it. Right here, you're seeing kind of the Trinity, which is like fire burns plant, uh, plant stops water. You know, it's kind of like this Pokemon deal. And a lot of the PvE content surrounds like, okay, getting good is a good... Oh, so there, there's my login bonuses for today. Right, and, and actually, so uh, going on to that system, uh, let's say you get into a mission. Well, well here, I'll, I'll check my mail. What did I get? Okay, so I got some money. You get stuff for logging in daily. Um, you also get these little passes if you want to just specifically go to a, a, an area. Um, so let's actually just go into that after I take a quick look. Do I have anything here that I need to look at? No. Uh, I, I've just been playing it like mad while... It's like my stress relief in between doing these E3 videos. And I love it. You can just see this massive amount of a roster. Now, um, you earn souls by leveling. but uh, And those are used to buy characters. But you'll also see, uh, like this one you could buy outright, but let me try to find one that has... Okay, so right here, right? It has a little bit of a quest to earn that character before you could buy it outright. So it's not just like, spend a bunch of money, you can, but they have like these fun little quests that get you to play missions and stuff in the game, which are really enjoyable, and that's actually how I unlocked uh, Porahan, or, or Poharan. Um, never good with the Blade and Soul names. But, uh, yeah. And, and she's, like, my favorite character that I actually played at E3. And I knew immediately. It was like, dude, this is my character. She's fucking a lolly with a giant chain gun. I have to play as her. And uh, I've, I've actually been doing pretty well with her. So you, you'll notice that there's a fire element here. You get the attack stats. All of them are very individual. Um, water, you know, and then you get these kind of things. Each one of them has different skills. Uh, you might see some familiar faces or not so familiar faces, right? Uh, which I enjoy using her as well. And these are both good at PvE, PvP. You know, they, they, they're very well balanced. It's pretty fun to, to play these characters. Uh, I'm trying to find a uh, plant-based one for you. Where's the plant? Oh, there it is. Oh, so the, the tag's in the bottom right-hand corner, but I'm, like, looking at it off the screen oh, because I'm trying to talk to the actual uh, microphone. So this is going to be a little bit more longer video f from our E3 stuff, uh, but I just kind of wanted to go over and show you, uh, you know, some some of the basic stuff. You get missions every day, month, whatever, um, and you can do certain things, like, uh, as obviously you're hearing somebody doing the emotes and stuff like that, but there's, like semi crafting here by getting materials and gathering stuff and you can change them into different things upgrade different things um get special packs and whatnot um you could also do the like these style token things right i don't have any of these so i would have to spend money which i which i could do i could uh let's say i could do geez it takes 12 whatever so oh because it's six and six so let's just craft him. Sure, sped two. It doesn't matter. Oh, style took a fragment. What a fucking bummer. Oh, that was that was not a good show on my part. But the good thing is, you could go in here, and let's say you get some garbage, you dismantle it, stir that in there. Oh, you can only wait. What? 
You can only register style tokens. Oh, well, that's sad. Uh, I guess that's just garbage now. Beyond repair, huh? So anyway, you can do that. You can disassemble it. It's going to cost you some money. But, get some fiber. Let's take another crack at that. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. Oh, what a fucking pill. Anyway. Not so lucky today. It was a lot more, uh, a lot luckier the other day. But uh, one other thing that you noticed in the inventory was, um, we'll just go back to that to pop it up really quickly. Um, oops, how do I pop my inventory? Oh, there we go. Um, you'll notice that like these little eye patch things, those were actually looted from a mission, uh, and it was kind of a hard mission to play, especially without a lot of leveled up stuff. Uh, to get those at the final screen and if you get 30 of them then you can actually unlock her so there's a lot of little interesting things in here this is from another mission that I did and uh, if you can't do the harder mission uh, let's say you're just not really good at it, you could just do a lot of the the smaller version of the mission and get some of the talismans and stuff like that and that will allow you to craft stuff uh, to, to make those eye patches so let's actually go to dispatch and we'll check out some of the stages. Uh, this is kind of a timer to let you know when this event's coming up. This is the Time Space Distortion, I believe. Yeah, so this is the one for uh, basically to unlock the character I'm playing now. You can actually set any one of the masters you've unlocked to, to specifically, um, you know, be your kind of avatar. Let's go to stage first. Let's give you a nice soft. We obviously you could use a ticket to get into any of these, but. You know, who cares? Let's let's just do a uh, random brutal. So this is going to, if you do dispatch now, you just go. But if you do a start match, you go through some matchmaking, find a couple people, boom, got somebody immediately, and now we're in the game. Now, my computer's a bit slow, too. Uh, it hasn't been upgraded in a while because it's just phenomenally expensive nowadays to, to do it. Um, I should not be using, I should be using her and her these are these are the the two ones that I'm gonna go with uh, because the stage is fire so then you you can unlock skills level them up personally and that's part of the RPG elements now I haven't done that with uh, her um, I'm gonna kind of move these both and, and those slots we'll get into after this uh, I guess I could I could take like one of these and it'll give you an idea for kind of the abilities what weapon you have equipped and uh, what what those kind of skills do <laughs> So right now, she's a photographer. Her attack is in a cone. And then uh, this uh, Luna or uh, Lua person is more of a, how do I explain it? Like just like a ranged badass fire machine gun, fire missile, fire projectiles sort of person. And if my computer could run this, like, everybody's computer could probably run this thing. And I'm running it and recording, so it might be a little bit choppy, but you'll get a good idea for what the game is. After this, we'll take a look at the uh, the actual uh, MOBA mode. Uh, well, we'll do an arena one first, because those are a little bit quicker. Then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of cap it off with the uh, MOBA mode might not be at top strength because of the way the setup is and it might be a little bit laggy but I'll try my best to to impress you'll see in the, the bottom right hand corner that there's actually a rank now you have two characters as you might have noticed um, you have your skills that are mapped to um, you, I mean you can kind of map them anywhere you want um, you know but I have QE is the standard one but I remap my ultra you share kind of the uh, same ultra bar, which is important to take note of. Actually, I'm going to switch because she's a... So you can get an idea for the mob killing abilities here. See, she's also using that character because these are all water-based characters and we're fighting fire um, kind of enemies. Oops. Keeps a hit combo and S rank and whatnot. You can have goals like don't uh, don't die, maybe not get hit. You'll earn money. You'll learn uh, experience, and uh, yeah, I mean it, it kind of it, it lends itself very very well as a 
uh, a good free to play. Um, as I'm trying to blow this up. So there's, I just used two skills. You notice it, it has a cooldown, but it also, um, oh, did I kill it? Um, it also uses mana. So you have to really pay attention to that so you're not overextending yourself. Oops. Open up some loot, which are bypassing. I don't know why. Get a little bit of an altar right there. And then I can do a super like that. And it just blows everybody up. And when you use a good combination, when they're down, using a multitude of skills and stuff, you could just, uh, you know, just really basically screw everything up. Uh, one thing that's really important to also note is that... Um, you're, when you're trying to control this game, you're going to want to think of it as like a twin stick shooter. Like this isn't like a uh, standard, you know, point click hit sort of thing. It's, it's very much a twin stick shooter sort of feel. I have an extended range thing. Uh, so it's actually picking up a lot more uh, like I could pick up stuff like from wherever I'm at and and that was kind of like one of the uh, like you could set stuff for a day a week or whatever and I'm sure that's tied into like the free-to-play model um, there's little things like that whoa it's a little fast so I could walk up and they're not using the super Use it. Still uh, S rank, which I'm surprised about. Okay, now we should go to the f next area. I believe that we're going to go into a boss right now. So this should load up the boss to give you a good idea of uh, what the fights are going to be like. It looks like one of the guys died already. He had zero health, or zero hearts there. So you'll get, like, if you die, you'll get, like, a chance to come back. You could buy more tokens to, to get back or earn them through. That's the big thing, is they give you a fuck ton of options to earn the in-game currency. Um, which is really nice, you know. it's It's one of the things, like... As games like this progress, they're just doing a better job of beating out other games. Um, and I'm I'm currently using the like ultra 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 low settings, so that's one thing that um, I don't want like people to think like oh god it, it, the game is like lo fi or whatever. This is this is what it looks like. Uh, oh, and see this laser. So we want to jump over that. But it's very much a bullet hell shooter, and they're not jumping, so they're gonna like. Anyway. Try to slow him down. So, jump. Oops. That didn't work out how I wanted. Run! Anyway, I also have a, a thing that helps heal me, I believe, on this. Or no, it might might have it off. Get him. You're supposed to slow down when you do it. Okay, so it was low on health, so I didn't want to die. Jump, you idiots! God, my now we're down to A because people couldn't fucking pay attention. Or they don't know how to jump. Fuck. So that was supposed to slow him down and then it does damage. Oof. Fuck. 
fuck, dude. He, now I'm being an idiot. That's what we're supposed to do, is we're supposed to jump, but the guy is dead, dead. Fuck! So I died once. Well, it's done now. But we're down to B rank, so... I also made a boo-boo. My bad. But there you go, you get an idea for, for the uh, the stages and whatnot. The other guy ate shit pretty early in. But now you get to earn stuff, and, you, and it's kind of random. It's kind of a loot system. But it's on you, you know. You have to make the lucky guess. Um, middle? Big bucks, no whammies, no whammies. Hey, okay. So what's this one do? Superior defense penetration. That's not bad. I could I could still use that right now. How far was I off? Ah, oh, by one. So that's that's the one that I would have rather have had. The uh, that's the best one. It's not as good as the stuff that I that I've been unlocking through um, PVP, but you know, uh, I'll I'll show you where where those go in particular. Each character has a sort of different set of um, of these little node and things that they can equip that work well for them and it'll tell you like how much of like a, a sync you know you are with, with the nodes and stuff now you could obviously use money i believe it's actually in-game currency that you used to to not the buy currency to expand those slots but there we go uh got jukebox coins which i'll probably never use um so we're gonna go take a look at that little bit so you'll see right in here, like these nodes. Like with her, I have a special one that I named. You can name them, right? And this is what I'm using. She's got all my, basically my best stuff. And these are the top, the legendary. And these were bought using the uh, in-game, uh, I guess the PvP currency that you earn when you do so many matches. They're like 150 if you win a match. I think you get like 25 to 28. I don't know, that's that's what I've got. I was on a hot streak last night, so I got two of them. Um, but yeah, some of these are just basically drops, and they just help you out. They give you a little bit of stats and whatnot. But when you're doing the PvP stuff, it only gives you half, right? So the PvE, it's 100%, but when you do the PvP, it's it's half of whatever these are. So uh, this is a 2% lifesteal, so it's going to give me 1%. This is a 2% lifesteal, or 2.5, so it's going to give me like 1.5. So currently right now... I have 2.25% uh, when I'm doing PvP. Um, let's, and obviously if you're playing matches and stuff, you're, this meter builds up. And each one of these every day, you'll get some you know, fabulous prizes. Uh, the cargo crates are, are good, and then there's two of those. And then it kind of gives you your membership benefits. So let's get into an actual um, arena. Let's do the 3v3. We'll do just a normal one. And then what I'll do is I'll just start the match. <coughs> Still got a little bit of that con plague from E3, but I'm working through it. Hopefully. I am doing this really, really late. So these people, and this is kind of the lobby too. You could just kind of like buy stuff from these different guys. Um, material exchange, things like that. If I need to up these. Oh, you could also up your weapons too. So if, while we're doing this, while we're waiting for a match, you can take a look at the weapons and you can upgrade these accordingly. So um, earning these patches, because this is kind of a special character, you could use to actually build up your weapon. So, um, I, let's see, is range the thing for me? I think for my play style, the damage is probably the most, uh, 
coveted for me. So let's augment this weapon. Okay, so we got the, the first augment for that weapon. The next one is gonna take five of those and then I'm gonna have to go through that and level this up a little bit more to uh, you know, beat that level to, to get that. Yeah, there's a there's a extended matching. You could actually come up over here and create a guild. We might do one for niche gamer. Um, I think all of us on staff pretty much really like this game, but it costs so much money. And then uh, I guess these are the people who started Clan yesterday. But anyway, uh, if you guys are interested, feel free to kind of join up with us. I, I, maybe I guess we should probably put a link or something. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But uh, there we go. Level ten doing that. There we go. And uh, 1,800 coins. Alright. How many coordinates on the way? Okay, so I have their two sets. I have their setup. Alright. And then it shows kind of like their, their uh, weapon. Got the rattle caster. What's this one called? MX SMG. Huh. More appropriate, I guess, for the military type. Also, you can uh you can unlock these skins by doing different stuff, getting coins. Like these are these are the uh the what is it called? The crafted coins that I try to make and I failed at. She just uses kind of like the pay currency you can earn. Which I could have probably gotten some of these because I earned it through through missions, and I know that another one of our staff members has uh, done that as well, just really quickly. So it's not impossible to do in like, you know, if you hardcore bust out the quests in a month. But see, it says in this mode only fifty percent of the note effects is applied, so they'll they'll let you know right off the bat. Load times are pretty decent, considering. I, of course, I'm the last one to load in. There's also a little bit of strategy here, because I'm using a fire and an ice range. And some people, as there's a loud-ass motorcycle going by, might double up on fire, double up on water. You know, you gotta kind of uh, uh, do it, apply, uh, you know... Depending on what you're you're fighting, right? You gotta strategize that way. Also, you saw I just put a point in. Um, try to get this. Oh, they need to dodge that. But you see how much damage I'm doing? It's because they're they're using an element that um Oof. Almost. They're both kinda weak to me. I don't think this person knows how to sw swap characters. This might be a little bit of a slaughter here. Oh, and so, like, as you noticed, I've gained some levels here, so I'm gonna upgrade my normal stuff. Get a little bit of HP back. Ah, shit. That was a waste. So I almost got my super up. So, I was, uh, eating a lot of shit right there. Where where are you going? 
Hey, buddy. Oh well. They kind of did the last minute suicide there, but. I knew that we would have those, so it didn't really matter at that point. I'm gonna leave that there. So I'm gonna switch. I don't, I don't think that guy knows how to play, <laughs> to, to be honest, sadly. Well, anyway, it always feels good to, to ream a couple of new players in here. Oh, you want to go? Alright, let's do it. Come on, I'm baiting you. Sucker. I don't know why they, uh... Oh no! Fuck. Got me with a super. Shut me down all by myself with that super. Oh well. Alright. That's how they want to play it. That's fine. Rocket. So, we want to use this like now. Oof. Trying to suck me in there. Oh. Shit. Oops. That's not good. Couldn't switch. Got him. <laughs> right at the last minute. So, eight kills. It's not bad. I don't think they knew what they were doing, though, so it's not really a victory. GG. So, we got that down to get an idea for the arena matches. You see that I earned that currency right there. You don't win a lot of currency in these matches, they're rather fast, so um, it, it keeps the, the gameplay moving. Now, we, now we're gonna do the big boy match. Wish I had an awesome PC to show you guys this game. Oh, this is going to be so fun. All right, so profile looks like a complete mission. Get a little bit of a reward right there. Now let's actually do the do. Thing that everybody's talking about the Titan runs which is the MOBA mode fairly simple straightforward you know maybe the strategy is gonna be a bit different from well it's probably a hundred percent gonna be different you know with levels and points and there's a lot of little different things that you'll see going on here Uh, yeah, I'll go with one, just in case, as a backup. I rarely use it. Looks like I gotta be in a real fucking emergency. You got a good mix on both sides. So we'll see. You gotta remember, this game only came out, like, yesterday. 
So I got a little bit of a leg up from playing it at E3, but yeah, you're going to start seeing people download the game, get into it, and come into their own. We should have a review for it by Monday, I want to say. It's very, it's very simplified. Like the strategy is like more, I want to say, physical training up, like your movements, what you're gonna do, kind of finding your groove, uh, rather than like I need to memorize what set of items I need to be OP, you know, or getting a lucky click, or I don't know. Some sometimes it, it MOBAs to me, it's one of the big turnoffs. Why I don't like playing uh, like Dota or League of Legends. Is just that it, it just feels like I'm taking a test I don't fucking play games to take a test unless it's like maybe a latent game and then I'm like yes that's why I'm doing it it's for the puzzles and shit but okay. now the, the, the difference here is that you'll have this and while you level up you'll get points I go pretty straightforward with it but you know you could suit your play style I'm gonna go low. Um, somebody else? No, I think they're going mid. Are they going to mid? I think. Uh, I wonder how they're gonna be playing this. But somebody's gonna show up right here. Come back, come back, come back. Don't fucking waste. It's a little mob to get some, uh. Sacrificed. So, basic strategy applies. Get points up. Get levels up, get your basic attack a bit better than the rest. Then you have these altars, and these altars are going to be uh, playing a big part of it. But for now, we really just want to to get in. Saw one of them is on the, the left. But we want to be making sure that we're getting points here. Oh, that person's fire, so I don't think it would be a good idea for them to... Okay, just fed me. So, uh, I'm gonna actually go back because now I got points. Alright, get healed up. Now my attack's a little bit better. There's... Okay, so now they're gonna go after the altar watchers. Now, my focus is going to be to delay these guys. And, oh shit, three of them are going that way, huh? He's trying to delay, but I think that he went in too fast. Get out of there. Get out of there. I'm trying to provide suppression fire for you. So I got a fall on here coming in.
trying to distract them as much as possible, but it's like... Where's my backup, dude? Come on, back up. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Crap. points in. Get back in there. It was me the whole time. Oops. Now, another thing you could do, if you're feeling frisky, take these guys out for more AXP. Always a good idea. So we got 100 points, and that's when a Titan spawns. So he's going to go straight forward, and what we're going to be trying to do is to basically... I'm going to try to nuke these guys as much as possible. Some extra points. Swap over. So they got 100 points, so I'm gonna hang back right now. I'm already doing fairly well. And I don't wanna feed them. That's the one thing you don't wanna do. Straight for us. Need help, assholes. Right. 
There we go. God damn it. An altar seal is ready to be broken. An altar seal is ready to be broken. So a fallen hero marches with us. Get him. Bitch. So right now, out of all my team, I have max attack. Did I do that? Okay. Okay, so now that we got like five shards, um, we could actually turn into a titan. Okay, by himself. Fuck, I missed that one. Don't Ah, fuck, what did I do? Crap, hit the wrong button. So we're about to get our next Titan. Can I level up before I have to go heal, please? Son of a bitch. Up. 
Okay. So I also dropped off a Titan shard when I was doing that. So now that they're they're rushing over there, I can actually do the uh hopefully crap. They're moving a little fast. for me. God damn it! Can you give me a break? Fuck. <sighs> Is anybody gonna help? Uh, so now they're down there after I was trying to fucking get them this whole time. And they got it. Son of a bitch. After all that work I did. Whatever. Trades. You guys aren't gonna like me very much now that I'm pissed. Enemy Titan approaching. <sighs> fucking... What are they doing? Come on, I need you on the field, dude. Playing Tango and Ash over there. Fucking focus on the goddamn dude. Thank you. Okay. The enemy is in a frenzy. Get it? Come on, man. We've been shut down. A fallen hero marches. There we go. Now let's fucking do this.
run, bitch. The enemy's been shut down. You're gonna have a blast. And then you do this. Actually, you know what? Better to heal now than to feed him later, right? Wasted that, huh? Alter watchers have spawned. Yeah, okay. still cooling off. <laughs> Fuck. are going to fucking bump heads now. No, go get the fucking Titan up. You dum-dums. A fallen hero marches with us. Bash. Titan's a little bit more lively. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making sure we have a Titan. Okay. So now when they get there, we can have two fucking Titans if they're smart about it. And we can win this outright without, you know, in the last minute. No, no, no. Go for them. I will also transform because nobody on my team, I guess, knows how or can do it. Honey, I'm home. And it's dead.
So, that was MXM. Let's see what my, my final, oh, my highlight. This is my highlight? Oh yeah, I guess that was good. Damage dealt. Yeah, I'm voting for myself. That's right. 26% of the team's damage dealt. So they kind of have like that Overwatch thing at the end where you can kind of vote. <laughs> None of their team got on here, which is kind of sad. 12 kills, 3 deaths. So there I go. I missed out on uh, two trophies. But you can see you get a large amount of the actual battle medals. That was the easiest way that I got it to, to get those legendaries. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like watching the video. If you like that, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I hope the video wasn't too choppy. And uh, stay tuned for more E3 footage that we'll be doing on Monday. Because I'm going to take a break after the three videos that are going up today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching me playing MXM. And my thoughts on it pre-E3 after e3 and uh all around i think it's a fucking amazing game i love it i hope other people love it too and i yeah i already did the outro i'm just kind of like hmm oh, I, so ooh, i'm gonna go do the things in the game all right guys have a good one